Dicks, it's Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I am going to be using one of the brand new silk colours. Here it is, called Fiery Sky. It's a gorgeous deep red, you can just see it here. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so as always, to begin with, I'm going to give this piece a really good clean. It was quite dirty. I'm using Dixie Bell's White Lightning, which is a granulated cleaner. I have put some in the bucket with some warm water, and I'm using a microfiber cloth to clean the piece. And then I will rinse it afterwards to remove any of the White Lightning residue and make sure that the piece is beautiful and clean, ready for a scuff sand and a paint. So usually at this point, or before this point, I would have taken the handles off to clean the piece without the handles on. However, the handles were not coming off this piece without damaging them, and that's part of the reason I purchased it. So on they stayed. This piece would have originally held a mirror and has holes on the top where that plinth would have sat so I'm just filling it with Dixie Bell mud in brown filling those holes and sand them flat and I'll be painting the top Okay, so the Dixie Bud has dried and I'm now using my Festool electric sander with a 120 grit paper attached to the pad to give the piece a scuff sand all over. I always scuff sand my pieces whether I'm using chalk mineral paint or silk all in one mineral paint. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I will be using silk on this piece and it is really important you give your pieces a scuff sand when you are using silk because it needs a little bit of a key in order to adhere to your piece. As I mentioned earlier, the handles were not coming off this piece. It's actually made my job slightly harder because I'm now having to sand really carefully around them. Whereas if I took them off, it'd just be a completely flat surface. So I'm doing as best I can with my electric sander and then I'm just gonna grab a piece of sandpaper just to get in all of the nooks and crannies and to get into the detail to make sure the piece has had a really good scuff sand. Now for the painting part, have you seen Dixie Bell have some artist brushes? You get four in a pack and they're going to help me get into all those detail around the handles. I'm using Silk All In One Mineral Paint in the colour Fiery Sky, which is a brand new colour from Dixie Bell. It's a gorgeous deep red with a hint of pink. I'm using the largest artist brush in the pack to carefully work around all the draw edges and make sure that I get a nice crisp line. So a couple of features on Silk All In One Mineral Paint as I speed this section up. It has a built-in stain blocking primer, so you'll notice that I'm painting straight over the top of the scuff sanded piece I haven't primed. It's got a built-in stain blocking primer which keeps bleed through issues at bay and it's also got a built-in top coat so there is no need to top coat silk unless you want to change the sheen level or if you want to add extra protection for something like a tabletop or chairs for example. It is really really durable and it has a sheen level equivalent to eggshell. I'm using the smaller artist brush to work around the lock and the handle so I don't get any paint on them. But then I'm going to revert back to my Dixie Bell Synthetic Mini for the top and the sides because obviously they're a larger, flatter area. I'd be there all day painting with an artist brush. So a synthetic brush is advised to use with silk if you want a flat finish and you don't need to use water with silk either. Okay, so while the top and sides are drying, I'm gonna add some peekaboo draw detail with Dixie Bell's decoupage paper. And to prep for that, I'm gonna sand the draw side so it's smooth. These were cleaned 
at the same time as the rest of the piece was cleaned. So it was cleaned with Dixie Bell's White Lightning and rinsed and it's thoroughly dry and I'm just giving it a light sand to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to paint a base colour of salt water, which is also a colour from the Silk Mineral Paint range. And I always use white underneath decoupage, especially if I'm using rice paper, tissue paper or paper napkins, because they can be a little bit see-through. So the colour that you paint underneath is likely to show through to the pattern. I always paint with white because that makes the colours appear truer and crisper on the decoupage paper. I left that base colour to dry for a couple of hours and now I'm going to stick the decoupage paper on. So I'm using Dixie Bell's clear coat in satin to work as an adhesive and I'm also going to seal the paper with that as well. You don't need a special adhesive for decoupage and I'm using satin but it also works in flat and gloss as well as gator hide. You can use it for that as well. I'm just making sure that all of the edges have had some of the satin clear coat because the edges in the corners are all, always the bits that get left out. So I'm just using my brush to work all the way around. You want to make sure you have a fairly generous uh, coat of clear coat satin or gloss or flat, whatever you're going to use. But you don't want too much because that is when your paper is going to start to wrinkle. Then all you do is get your decoupage paper the sheets are absolutely huge so i am going to trim this down and use it on the rest of the piece flatten it all down with your hands although this is rice paper is really robust smooth any wrinkles out and i always press all the way around the edges and make quite a decent crease so that when you come to trim it down it's stuck firmly around the edges and you don't get any issues with tearing or ripping. So once all that's pressed down, I'm going to use exactly the same product to seal the paper in. So that satin clear coat again, I'm just applying another fairly generous layer over the entire side of the drawer. That's going to dry, it's going to seal the paper, it's going to offer protection and it's also going to mean that I can sand away the edges without scuffing the design on the paper. Okay, fast forward a couple of hours. This is now completely dry. I stuck that bad boy in front of a heater to make sure that it was completely dry. If you try and do this when it's wet, you're likely to tear the paper and, and rip it um, and you're not gonna get a very neat edge. So I always wait until it's completely dry to do this. And I'm taking a Dixieville sanding sponge, which is equivalent to a 220 grit which is perfect for trimming down paper. You don't want anything too abrasive. And I'm just rubbing it away from the side of the drawers. And that gives you a really neat crisp edge to your drawer sides. Finally, what I do is give it another coat of clear coat satin. So that's two coats in total. And that's just to make sure that it is completely protected. And it also, if you've got any little bits that have lifted on the corners of the edges when you have sanded, this just makes sure that it's gonna take care of those and stick them down nice and firm. And here's the result. I love the way the decoupage paper works with that gorgeous vibrant red. There's a close-up of the sheen. You can see that beautiful sheen that Silk has built in. 
and here is the final shot of the piece. Thanks for watching the video today, hope you enjoyed it, let me know if you've got any questions, drop them below and make sure you subscribe to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel.